So the question is about the permissibility of having a dog as a pet, yes or no, and why or why not. And there's, the general answer is yes, you can have a dog, but let me just go down the line of thinking because this is one of those issues that for some reason we, we, we stumble on a lot. The dog is considered ritually impure, najis, in the majority of the Sunni schools, except the school of Imam Malik. Imam Malik, rahimahullah, he was of the opinion that the dog and all created beings are pure. So, however, there's another set of hadith that angels don't occupy the same space in which there is a dog. So if you have a dog at home, for any reason, uh, it could be that when the doorbell rings, the dog barks, and then therefore, you know, people, it's a way to deter, or for a way for people on the outside to know that someone's on the inside. I mean, that could be a reason. As long as there's any reason, however, you know, small we think that reason is, then yes, we could keep the dog, we could follow the opinion of Imam Malik that the dog is not najis, it's not ritually impure, but as a practice, we should isolate the space that the dog occupies in the house, house if possible. What do I mean by that? Let us just keep one room in the house that's the prayer room or the room in which we pray. I mean, it could be a study or a bedroom, or etc. But we always pray in that room. We just wouldn't let the dog be in that room. So therefore, we, are, we don't want the place where we pray to be where the dog comes and then the angels don't come for that hadith. So if we had like a mosque that had a huge property, we could have a dog on the property, but we just wouldn't let the dog come into the prayer hall. That's what I'm saying. So think about it the same way in your, in your house. So is it permissible? Yes, it's permissible. Uh, generally, people that live in the West, Muslims that live in the West, we should follow the opinion of Imam Malik because there are service dogs uh, for people that need a service animal. There are also law enforcement uh, canines. And they, by law, you have to let them sniff you. So you don't want to be standing in a security line and the dog comes to you and you, know, you run away from the dog because you're like, it's Nejis. I mean, that's going to be, <laughs> that's a bad situation to be in. So we just take the opinion of Imam Malik uh, in this case and we, we just say it's not Nejis. Uh, and even if like somebody that was blind that came to the mosque and they had a service animal, we would be permit, we would permit that, uh, that transaction. Uh, because we have a dispensation uh, from the madhab of Imam Malik, even though I said previously just a few minutes ago we wouldn't let the dog come in the prayer, ha prayer hall as a general rule. But in this case, as a one-off, that would be okay. So anyway, getting back to the question at hand, yes, you could keep the dog in the house. Um, just find, as an intention point of view, any reason. So you kind of check, yeah, there's a reason why I have the dog. And my advice is would isolate one spot of the house uh, that the dog doesn't occupy for prayer purposes. Wallahu alam.